that these two products are game changers but on TikTok recently. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Christine. Today, I'm really excited to share an updated skin routine. In my last Get Ready With Me, I did share a quick little skin prep situation, but I thought it would be helpful to dive into a full skin routine. I feel like in high school, I struggled a lot with hormonal acne. I had a lot of breakouts, texture, and I feel like lately, I've just gotten a routine that really works for me. A lot of the products that I use are Korean beauty products as well, and I also will link some affordable options down below in case you're on a budget. I have really oily acne prone skin like I said but my skin is also very sensitive. In the summers here in LA it gets pretty hot and when it gets really really hot my scalp will actually get clogged so I've gotten these like tiny little bumps on my forehead. It starts at my scalp and kind of moves down onto my forehead. I found that the best thing that helps me is literally just icing my forehead. I'll take like a headband and kind of just like hold the ice pack to to my forehead so if you ever get anything like that I think it's called a heat rash I did go to a dermatologist and she said that there's no topical product that you can apply or anything that you can take for it it literally is just pores in my scalp getting clogged from the oils that my skin produces and then just because it's so hot sweat and oil it just causes tiny little breakouts like that whenever that happens I just wash my face very very often in the summer I won't even wear makeup and that's a good thing about having a really great skin routine routine too is I feel like it allows me to do less with my makeup. Also while I was in high school I did struggle with hormonal acne and I would get a lot of the bigger bumps almost like cystic acne and what really helped me back then was taking birth control so I started taking the pill back when I was like 18 or 19 and I didn't stop taking it until a couple of years ago and luckily my skin has still remained nice but it helped me a lot I feel like it helps regulate your hormones and stuff like that especially if you get those deep acne and nothing you're trying is really working my dermatologist at the time recommended taking the pill to help kind of regulate your hormones so we definitely recommend checking in with your doctor before trying that route but for me it helped a lot once I got off the pill I didn't notice any of the bad after effects so the pill for me was a really good thing and it helped my skin a lot but this is a routine that I've loved that I usually travel with a lot of these products are empties and tried and true that just really work for me and my skin enough about the chit chat let's go ahead and dive into the routine I have nothing on my skin right now truthfully I did apply a little bit of a lip tint because naturally I feel like my lips are so grayish beige so I'm self-conscious of that and I've been really liking this benefit lip tint just to add a little bit of color anyways first thing that I normally do is I cleanse my skin this is such an important step to your routine every day morning and night I cleanse for 60 seconds and this single-handedly has made the biggest difference in my routine right now I'm loving the origin checks and balances frothy face wash talked about it in so many of my skin videos and this is just a favorite so many times even when you're washing your hands you would never really just rinse your hands under the sink with soap for like five seconds and be done they tell you to sing the ABC so very similar to cleansing your skin especially if you wear makeup sunscreen you want to make sure you just get everything off and this is a cleanser that both Brand and I love I cannot tell you how many I've gone through and you really want to get in there you don't want to be too rough but maybe Make sure you get all the tiny little areas if there's any areas where you break out a lot make sure you focus a lot of that on there after skin is cleansed it feels squeaky clean especially going in there for so long making sure we get everything off next step is toner this one I've been loving it's from Sua Su it's a central comfort balancing water I actually worked with this brand last year but ever since I used this combo I'll talk about this product later it has made such a big difference in my skin it's giving me that glowy glassy look and I feel like it's a next step to take your skin from like great to amazing and I would get questions all the time about my routine so this toner is very thick and I apply it straight into my fingers and I used to use a cotton round when applying my toners but I feel like it is actually a big waste of product 
and sometimes your cotton rounds can leave residue on your face. So I like using the rounds just for removing eye makeup or if I want to use like micellar water. Suwa Su is expensive, but it makes such a huge difference in my skin, but I will link a lot of similar products down below if you have a different budget. Next product, I actually think you're supposed to use this before the toner, but sometimes I forget. And this is amazing. If you were to buy one thing from this entire routine, I would say these two products are game changers. The toner, sometimes I'll swap out but this I go back and use I actually have a whole empty and for me to go through anything says a lot especially because I'm constantly testing out so many different products you guys already know if you're new to skincare you're supposed to apply your products in the order from thinnest to thickest consistency so after toner we have serums then you have moisturizers creams and then oils but cheat sheet is just go from thinnest to thickest Brooklyn what are you doing baby Brooklyn's in the bathroom with me and I can hear her like playing around with the bath mat. What are you doing? You hear like all my skincare off. Next up in my routine is eye cream. I've been loving this. I realize I've been talking about it a lot. This is also expensive, but I'm 28. I've always loved skincare. I've loved investing in my routine and this is just something that I keep going back to. I love that it's a liquid form and there's no frills to it. It's not super heavily fragrance or anything like that and it just really hydrates my under eyes. A lot of the creams I use are either too thick and it gives me milia like those tiny little bumps or it's not hydrating enough and this one is great before and after makeup preps my skin I'm probably gonna use this up into my wedding day to prep my skin so I really really like this I feel like I have to use an acne serum every day or every other day to kind of keep my skin under control because I have really acne prone oily skin and I just need to make sure I constantly have some sort of like acne fighting ingredient and this one I always go back to I've been through so many of these this is the peace out acne serum it has 2% salicylic acid and niacinamide and zinc which really help to fight breakouts I feel like the niacinamide helps make the serum a little bit more more gentle on your skin so many times i've used acne serums where it's really rough or it burns my skin you definitely don't want that but something like this i notice a huge difference even when i don't have it i'll notice my texture gets a little bit more uneven or noticeable so this is something that i always go back to and even when i'm having good skin days i always use this it's a good all-around serum that's gentle it's not super rough or anything like that and it doesn't pill underneath makeup as well if you spend a lot of time on your skin routine everything is gonna be easier doing makeup you can do more natural days I just feel like the more you invest in a good skin routine and taking the time to find products that work with your skin I just think it's so worth the investment okay next product that I've been loving I'm almost out of this and this is a big bottle I don't know if you can see like how little I have left but this is almost a watery serum moisturizer it is very lightweight and oftentimes since I have such oily skin I'll skip the moisturizer and just layer a bunch of serums and I feel like that way I get the hydration and a lot of the benefits without weighing down my skin or clogging my pores and this stuff is expensive too but there's so many great ingredients in it there's hyaluronic acid which helps to hydrate the skin as well and I feel like it just keeps my skin barrier super healthy especially if you're using salicylic acid any like rough ingredients to fight acne you also want to make sure that you're hydrating properly even though I have really oily skin I always want to make sure my skin just feels soft and hydrated because I feel like it allows your skin barrier to like protect itself and balance itself out and regenerate I don't know it works for me then since it's summer it's been really hot out I'm just gonna leave my skin like that but we do want to apply sunscreen a sunscreen that I've been loving is this one from Laneige. This one I actually noticed is sold out on their website so I don't know if it like blew up on TikTok recently or something but I really like it. It's super lightweight, doesn't leave a white cast, it's hydrating, doesn't break me out and you do have to do the two finger rule. If you don't know I have a whole video on some of my favorite sunscreens but it's been a while so I probably need to do an updated version soon so let me know if that's something that you want to see. I think Laneige is a Korean skincare brand as well. Korean and the Japanese girlies just get it. 
The skincare is always elite. I feel like it just gives you the smoothest, glassiest skin. Okay, last step is the lip balm. This one from La Neige is one of my favorites. I've gone through quite a few of these as well. And I feel like it's just so hydrating. Always have to have this on me. Especially if we spend all this time on our skin routine, we don't want crusty, dusty, sharp lips. Okay, so that is the finished skin routine and the skin looks really glowy, smooth, soft. I actually am gonna be getting ready later today and I feel like it's so satisfying applying makeup on top of skin once it's prepped properly. I have a couple more honorable mentions. This is the best spot treatment I've ever used. I always go back to this. It's amazing. I've gone through like three of these. All the products that I'm talking about in this video are all like holy grail items. So a lot of these are empties or products that I've gone through. Tried and true. And this one I love because it is a little dropper bottle. So I'll just apply a little drop and dab it onto any breakouts or active like texture spots, clogged pores that I have. And I love that it's not super drying but it is still super effective. It works well underneath makeup. I have tried a couple spot treatments where it dries out my skin and then when I go to put on makeup the next day or something, it's like cracked or it doesn't apply properly because the skin is so dried out. So I love this one because it is so hydrating but it does fight my breakouts really well. I put a lot of people onto this. I love this. I will continually repurchase this because it is so good. Another product that I can't live without is a vitamin C serum and vitamin C is great for evening out your skin tone if you have dark spots or anything like that. This actually contains lactic acid as well, which helps to smooth out skin texture. So I feel like I have a lot of serums layered on right now, but if I have a day where I don't want to use my piece of acne serum, I'll instead use this. So this is the finished skin. The lighting throughout the video was kind of weird, so apologies for that. But as you can see, it left me with a really smooth, glassy looking finish. And I just think skin first, Makeup Second is a really great base for anything. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to thumbs it up. Let me know down below in the comments what you want to see next. I am planning on doing my makeup for my wedding day. So I'm gonna get into some bridal trials, a lot more practice before the big day in about a year. So let me know if you guys wanna see any like in-depth makeup tutorials. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Marky, I'm not. Good night.